Hey everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome to today's video. So today I'm going to be sharing with you everything that I am putting in my son's stocking. So I actually have three children. If you're new here, I have um, a daughter who's 11, my son is eight, and then my youngest um, daughter is two. So typically what I've done in the past is I'm pretty certain, I know last year um, I filmed the stocking filler ideas just in one video. Um, and it was quite long so what I thought I would do is split it out so I'm going to do three videos um, try and keep them kind of like to the point and short so stay tuned if they're up already I'll link them here I'm going to link my previous year's videos down below as well so check out the description if you want to um, have a look at those if your children are obviously younger than mine um, but yeah stay tuned for the other two videos Oliver is my son. This is the first video that I am uploading. So I'm gonna jump straight in and share with you everything that I've picked up and hopefully it gives you some ideas. Okay, just before we jump into the video, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up, leave me a comment down below, and if you're not already, I'd love for you to hit that subscribe button. You can either do it by hitting the red subscribe button, or if you look at the screen, you'll see my name in the bottom left-hand corner as you're looking at the screen. Hover over that, it just gives you the option to subscribe, so super, super simple. So, we're going to jump straight into the video. Um, the stockings, I will do my best to try and find them and link them down below. I've actually had Darcy and Ollie's stocking um, for about four years now. I got them off of Etsy and I managed to get one made for Penny as well um, she's my youngest my two-year-old so I'll show you that in her video but they're all exactly the same they've obviously just got their individual names um, on them and I went with the red glitter so when I bought this you could choose what which option you wanted um, so yeah I will see if I can find these down below but I just love them because I don't think they're overly big I don't obviously like fill it to the brim but I just like it because it kind of looks like a sack um I love that kind of vibe and yeah it's just nice um and it just sits on the end of their bed on Christmas Eve so they wake up to this it's the first thing they have on Christmas morning and what they have done for the previous years um it's just bring the stockings up to um our bedroom and we open them all together on the bed um so yeah that is ollie's okay so like i said at the start ollie is eight he was eight in september um and typically i stick with this a similar theme for the stockings so you'll see in there there's normally like a cozy pair of socks um some new underwear i like to pop that in there i don't put pajamas in there because i usually pop that in their december box they've got like a nice fresh pair of pajamas um they're kind of like christmas themed that they can wear throughout december i used to put it in a christmas eve box but this year i'm just gonna give them um them at the start of december so like maybe something that the elf can bring because otherwise obviously you can wear christmas pajamas we typically wear them right throughout the year but it just means they can wear them just in the build up to christmas um but i would love to know if you've got any ideas suggestions anything different if you leave them in the comments because then obviously other people can read it and it's just obviously we're all sharing our ideas um but first thing i do like to just pop in there um some form of either color and book word search um something along those lines i have this year put in ollie's a coloring book i actually picked this up in aldi um i'm pretty sure it was 3.99 um but it's such a good size it's not a small as you can see like compared to my head it's a really good size um and the pictures are amazing he's got really into his coloring and the thing i like about this is the pages are more of a cardboard material um and if you open the book you can actually slide the pages out so he could like frame them if he wants to um or you know just display them um and the pictures are just kind of like along the theme of what you see here and if i just turn it over so to go with that i have picked him up a new pack of felt tips and just a new pack of color and pencils again i got these in aldi and i spotted them just a couple of weeks ago i think they were kind of like left over from the back to school um collection that they did and i got them for 69p each so i thought that's an absolute bargain because i'm i think these were like 199 um so yeah i'm gonna pop those in this stocking i've actually got for him that he'll have in amongst his presents downstairs um a case that i got from amazon um with like some artist felts and just because he's been showing such a passion for coloring so i thought they would be perfect for this as well because the pages are quite thick in here um but yeah i just thought these would be perfect for like every day just to add into his pencil case so i think stuff like this with the coloring books is kind of like an essential that i go for every year um i've done a similar thing for my youngest and then darcy's just got something slightly different because she 
isn't she doesn't really enjoy she doesn't reach for color and wants to enjoy um but she's got quite a few of those books that she hasn't used um so yeah that is my first kind of like tip that i add into their stockings okay next up i have got him this gingerbread glitter bath bomb um it is so full of glitter the bath is gonna be <laughs> a delight to clean after he uses this but he loves to have a bath um and i just thought this was lovely you can either do this on christmas day night or boxing day because kind of like that period over christmas is like when you're at home chilling lounging so yeah you can run yourself a nice bubble bath i got this from home bargains i think it was 79p they had um different designs of um these if you're in the uk and you've got home bargains i think they had like a christmas pudding and i'm pretty sure they had a santa as well um but i actually got darcy a matching one just because that way there can be no arguments um but yeah again i always tend to put something like this in their stockings as well sorry the lighting is going crazy because when i started filming this the sky was really blue it's now raining i can hear it on the the felix windows there and it's so dark outside so um if the lighting keeps going in and out just know it's our crazy um british autumnal weather um so next up i actually picked up this little mini nerf gun it's so diddy like compared to my hand you can see it's like super super tiny i managed to find this in tesco um in the clearance section it was two pounds so i thought that's perfect to pop in his stock and he loves like nerf guns um he's got like another brand as well i don't know if it's called G shot something like that um but yeah i don't think he's got one this size and i just thought how cute is that okay guys i've just gone to get the ring light because it's just gone so dark um so if you're wondering why it's magically brighter in here just set the ring light up just so it doesn't look so kind of like dull in the room um although i love the kind of like dim lighting not the best for filming anyway next up i picked this up from the range i think it was like 99 pence and it's just a color changing kind of like fidget lizard um it changes color in warm water so he'll absolutely love that um and again it will just go with like his um little poppets that he's got he loves to just have like little fidget toys um that he can just fiddle around with Okay, if you've been watching any of my vlogs, I actually have mentioned when I said I was really stuck on Christmas presents, ideas, that sort of thing. And I knew I wanted to get him like a scratch art set because he was absolutely obsessed with this set that my mum had got for me last Christmas. So again, I saw this in the range and it's just a mini um, scratch art rainbow set. I've actually got him a larger version of this um, that I picked up in B&M. I think I showed that in my last vlog. Um, so I'll link that here if you want to have a look at that because there's a couple of bits that they're going to be having that will be in their main christmas um pile downstairs not in the stocking but this was only one pound and i just thought this is perfect it's just a really easy little size and it's not so intricate it's kind of like more of a simple scratch art set but he absolutely loved this um set that i had last year so i knew i definitely needed to get this and i thought that's perfect to pop in his stocking the range actually had some really really good pieces in i managed to get some bits for my um, youngest daughter in there as well um and in terms of like little stocking filler pieces i would say between b and m home bargains in the range you could easily do a stock in there and obviously their prices are so affordable okay next up i picked up this little keychain from primark it was only one pound it's playstation they did have um the different gamer options so they had like a game boy in there as well ollie loves his playstation so i got him that so he loves to add keychains onto his backpack that he takes to school um, and also his football bag so i just thought that was a perfect little gift to pop in the stocking as well and then like i said i always get them just some fresh underwear to pop in it's kind of like a thing that i've done every single year so um yeah i just got him some fresh little boxer shorts got these from primark they're so affordable in there um these were nine pound for seven pairs again in primark they've got little like, different options they've even got like the gamer options um but i just stick to kind of like the black whites and there's some gray ones in here um so yeah something that goes in every year if you watch any of my other stocking fillers you'll kind of like be like yeah that's kind of what she puts in every year Okay, next up, I picked up this hair wrap for him. So um, if you've not seen my videos, Ollie has really long hair that he kind of like wears tied up in a little um, like top knot messy bun. And um, he always takes or uses mine or Darcy's hair wrap. We've got one each. Um, I think the ones we've got were soaked in like um, argan oil or something like that so it's kind of like conditions the hair once it's kind of like just drying after you've washed it so and he always complains um he's like i don't want to wear a pink one mummy so when i saw this in primark just this black one i thought i'm going to pick that up so then he knows that that's just his to use it was three pound fifty um and yeah he's, his hair's quite thick so this is perfect and it will stay on his head because our ones fit him 
um, as well. So again, things like this, Primark has a lovely selection. Next up, we've got the cozy socks. Now, you would not believe how hard it has been for me to find PlayStation cozy socks. I had the same issue last year with Ollie's cozy socks. Darcy, I can literally find about eight pairs for her. Um, Ollie, no. So I actually got these from Asda. They are the PlayStation ones. There's two pairs in there and they were five pounds. Um, again, I don't know if that's a bit more of a splurge because in Primark, if I wanted to just get, say, plain black ones, um, I could probably get them for like two pounds. But he does really like his PlayStation socks and he's got a pair of pyjamas from Asda. So I just thought that would go lovely. Um, he is actually a size three now. So I got the size um 12 and a half to a three and a half so obviously that'll be perfect for him um next up i saw this notepad so it's personalized with his name it has an o on it this one i actually got from home bargains um i don't remember exactly how much it was i don't think it would have been any more than one pound fifty um but it's just plain so it's just ruled um lines and obviously it's what size do you call this like an a5 size so i thought he could use this as more of like a diary um because he's been having um like some issues around school and going to school so i thought it would be good for him maybe if he wanted to to keep a journal and I thought that would be perfect for him he's got a little pom-pom so they have this in like all the letters so you can pick up what whichever initial um it, you need um and they had a purple version and the green version so I got him obviously the green version and yeah I just thought it would be perfect for him and it's good as well for him to practice his handwriting with the lines so he knows how obviously to keep it nice and straight to go with that I also picked him up um this five pack of pencils and they have the finger grips on them again I think these were they were definitely under a pound I don't remember exactly how much um but he's got a really lovely little pencil case that I got from Smiggle I think he had that last year actually um and it's got like individual pen like elastic loops um and these are really good because they sit in there really nicely with the finger grips um so yeah, I just thought that's obviously ideal for him to practice his writing. So another couple of ideas for the stocking. Now, usually I'll pop in there um, like a bottle. In the past, they've had like metal bottles. So I'll pop in there some form of drinking bottle. But my kids have so many drinking bottles. Our cupboard, we, I regularly have to go through them. So I thought I'm not going to buy them another one of those for, like for the sake of it this year because we've got so many. Um, so I saw this little glass tumbler in Audi of all places actually and it's obviously the PlayStation brand. In the past I've got ones like this from um, Primark as well. I don't remember how much it was because it doesn't have a uh, price on it but I want to say it was £3.99 um, but if I just show you because um, typically when I make him a drink on an evening he's got kind of like a smaller glass and he is eight now and sometimes I do think oh maybe he wants more of a grown-up glass obviously he needs to be careful with it because it is glass um, but I just thought this was like an ideal like just a bigger size for him and obviously it's PlayStation themed so I know he will love that so yeah I opted for this instead of the drinking bottle because um, I thought we do not need any more bottles in our cupboards. So I'm trying to be like mindful of what I'm popping in these stockings because I've probably been guilty in the past of, oh, I don't, oh, it's, I don't want to know what the right word is, not necessarily excessively buying, but buying when they don't necessarily need it. So this year I've thought, I don't know, some people might say what I'm putting in there is excessive, some people might say it's not, um, but I think this year I've got a really good balance of things that they actually need rather than just buying something for the sake of filling up a stocking. Um, I don't know if that makes sense or not, but obviously I know it's quite nice to share these sort of videos so you can get ideas. So yeah, that is obviously the, the purpose behind the video. And I think we're going to the last item. Um, so I've saved this for last, but I always pop a little mini selection box in their stocking I think last year I got them um like a chocolate santa the kinder chocolate santa but he did get a little bit um smashed to pieces <laughs> so I thought I'm gonna get them them because they do like the kinder chocolate but I'll pop, probably sit that on the Christmas pile downstairs so I thought to go in the um actual select uh selection box the stocking I'll get this selection box and I got this in home bargains um I went with this version because they actually both Darcy and Ollie I've got Penny just something different because she wouldn't eat this but they like all of these chocolate bars so the Twix the Maltesers the Mars and the Milky Way and I just thought there's four bars in there there's not really really huge and obviously um typically on Christmas morning we end up eating chocolate for breakfast um with our little 
uh, me and Tom usually have like a Bucks Fizz, so I just thought, yeah, this was the perfect size. So that is the last thing going in his stocking. Okay, so that is everything in the stocking. I haven't wrapped it yet. I thought I would save that for an evening so Tom can help me um, because I've got like obviously three of them to do. Usually I'll wrap them on camera, so that will probably be included in a vlog. But I just wanted to show you kind of like how the stockings will look. So it's not overly heavy and usually we'll just pop it on the end of the bed. And as you see, there's quite a lot of room in there still, but just love these stockings. They're so cute and I just feel like they look fairly traditional um so yeah like I said if I can find them I will get them uh, I'll link them down below but I did get these off of Etsy um yeah but I think I've seen these around for a number of years so I'm sure there'll be something similar um so yeah just check the description box down below that is going to wrap up the stocking video for my son Oliver so I really hope you enjoyed today's video like I said at the start don't forget to give the video a thumbs up so any engagement on the video on my videos really really helps my channel I really appreciate um anybody taking their time to watch my videos um let alone engaging in them so thank you so much like I said if you've got any ideas just please leave them in the comments because one it gives me ideas and obviously everyone else and I can help share um, any ideas and I do usually do um, like a sharing box on my Instagram as well so if you're not following me on Instagram that is always linked in the description as well but I hope you enjoyed today's video stay tuned I will be doing the other two videos as well just thought I would separate them out this year so I hope you don't mind that um, and let me know if you find it easier um, but I'll see you in my next video bye everyone <laughs>